Welcome to my channel. The way you handle situations and the activities you engage in on a daily basis can have a significant impact on your mental strength. You can't expect to improve your cognitive abilities unless you develop daily routines that nourish your brain and feed your intelligence. In order to support and grow their intelligence, smart people have developed daily rituals. There is always more to be done, and they grasp the importance of this. The secret lies in your daily habits not how much time you have. The key is to practice adapting your brain to new perspectives, situations, and information. You will become smarter over time, but it will take hard work. Here are 10 habits you may start today to get smarter. Habit number 1. Be willing to share what you learn. In order to learn, you must share what you've discovered with others. If you truly understand something, you must apply it to your own life and share it with others. Post your ideas on a blog or website. Take to the internet by launching your own YouTube channel or podcast. Answer questions on the Quora website. Educate others about what you're studying. Speak clearly and concisely to others. You'll get a better sense of it if you try it out. There's nothing more important than being able to articulate your thoughts clearly. Sharing what you've learned helps you retain it. Write about what you've learned or recorded in audio or video form to share with others. As a result, it will make you a better communicator and more intelligent. You'll retain more of what you're learning because you'll be able to recall it. Habit number two. Ensure you sleep eight hours every day. Your overall health and well-being depend on a good night's sleep. Sleep deprivation is a problem for most of us. When you're sleep deprived, it's easy to make poor decisions. If you can't think clearly, how can you expect to improve your intelligence levels? Getting a good night's sleep is one of the best ways to improve your intelligence. Ensure that you are taking good care of yourself. Our bodies and minds benefit from sleep in a variety of ways, including increased productivity and a more positive outlook on the day ahead. Our brains can't work properly if we don't get enough sleep. Even though everyone's sleep needs are unique, the average adult requires 8 hours of sleep per night. Getting a good night's sleep is one of the best ways to reset our mental state each day. You can recharge your body's batteries while you sleep. Give it top priority. Habit number 3. Do 30 minutes of physical activity every day. It's estimated that most adults don't get the daily recommended dose of physical activity, which is 30 minutes. You can improve your mood by exercising. It has a positive effect on your outlook on life. Your overall health and well-being will benefit from it. The growth of new brain cells is aided by regular physical activity, which also enhances your mental well-being. To improve your intelligence, you must ensure that your brain is functioning at its peak. When you're physically active, your mind and memory both benefit. When you exercise, your blood vessels dilate and your body receives more oxygen and nutrients. You have more stamina when your heart and lungs are in better health. To become a better person, you need to have more energy to learn new information. Sleeping better and faster can be achieved by regular physical activity. To get the best of both worlds, you need to exercise and get enough sleep. Habit number 4. Take time to reflect without distractions. Do you take time out of your day to ponder the events of the day? You shouldn't take the opportunity to pause and consider the events of the day for granted. Get some quiet time in your schedule to write, journal, and think about your life. Taking a breather is essential in our fast-paced environment. Your success depends greatly on your ability to think. It's important to set aside time each day to focus on your thoughts. Make sure that the area where you work is free of distractions. Think and nothing else. Take a break from your phone, social media, and other distractions and find a place where you can be alone. Hike in the wilderness. Get outside and enjoy the fresh air. Nature has been shown to have a positive effect on people's well-being, happiness, and creativity. Make the most of your free time this weekend. 
Make a list of your thoughts and then ask yourself tough questions about them. Many CEOs devote a portion of their time to contemplation. Consider Jeff Weiner, CEO of LinkedIn, who allots two hours each day for personal reflection. Habit number five. Focus on developing a positive mindset. What you do is influenced by your beliefs. It's that easy. It's difficult to put into practice. The more you think, the more you'll learn. You may learn and unlearn how to think and feel about things. Reprogramming and programming them is possible. They can be both aware and unaware at the same time. It takes a lot of effort and dedication to improve your mindset and mental strength. It's a well-known fact that the more you learn, the more powerful your mind becomes. Your brain, like your body, is a muscle. It's important to learn something new each day. You become a better version of yourself when you alter your mental state. Habit number six. Gain self-awareness and break your bad habits. The ability to discern between good and bad habits is aided greatly by developing a keen sense of self-awareness. As a result of our long-term habits, we don't give much thought to what we do throughout the day. Because we operate on autopilot, it is difficult to break old habits. Because we've done it so many times, we're not aware of what we're doing. We gain a better understanding of ourselves and our daily routines when we raise our level of self-awareness. It becomes easier for you to accept who we are as we are. Maintaining self-awareness also aids in managing your emotions and the things that have an effect on your daily routines and thought processes. What are some of your bad habits that you need to get rid of? Habit number seven. Read more. Reading should move to the top of your priority list rather than the bottom. Reading books, articles, newsletters, and anything else you can find will help you learn more. Make reading a priority. Your body needs nourishment from physical activity. Reading falls under the same category. Reading is good for your brain because it feeds it. It's not hard to see how what you read influences what you say, write, and think. The more you read, the more you will grow as an individual. Habit number eight. Write more. It's important to write down what you've learned. Every day, spend a few minutes reflecting on what you've learned. It will improve your cognitive abilities. Because anyone can do it, writing is a piece of cake. Writing well is a labor of love. Writing is a skill that can be learned and improved upon. A writer's desire, effort, and willingness to clearly communicate their ideas are all essential components of good writing. Writing improves your ability to think critically. Habit number nine. Ask more intelligent and better questions. Asking good questions is an excellent approach to learn and improve one's intelligence. The ability to ask questions is a skill taught to professionals such as lawyers, journalists, and doctors. As part of their training and employment, it's a need. How important is it to you? Questioning is an art and a science that requires experience and training to master. Running a marathon isn't a one-time event, the same can't be said about good question-asking skills. Using the right tone and body language and you ask a question can make a big difference. When you ask a question, the quality of the information you receive depends on these factors. Better questions will help you become smarter. Habit number 10. Manage your time according to your priorities. Is your time being spent on the things that are most important to you? Note the difference between what you believe you do and what you actually do. Personal values should be reflected in how you spend your time. Juggling work, relationships, health, and leisure can be a challenge. A person's character is shaped by the way they choose to spend their free time. Spending time on intelligent pursuits improves your intelligence. Spend your time where you want to. In a typical month, there are only 720 hours of work time. Your free time should be spent on activities that matter to you. If you want to be smarter, you'll make the time to learn new things and improve your abilities.
Fortunately, it doesn't take a lot of time to get smarter. As long as your everyday practices are sound, you'll soon find yourself smarter and more clever than you were just a few hours ago. Be down to earth. Try to learn as much as possible. What you know now pales in comparison to what you can discover in the future. If you want to get smarter, spend your time doing things that will help you do so. It's time to change your mentality. Consider things from a variety of angles. Revisit your ideas. Just a few minutes will do. You must establish healthy daily routines. You'll get knowledge in this way. Thank you for watching.